Hello and welcome to another episode of World 360. I am Sucheet Veer Singh and I'll be hosting this episode. What did Xi Jinping say about the US trying to hold back China? What does the annual threat assessment of the US intelligence community released on Wednesday, 8th March, say about the India-Pakistan rivalry? What is the United Kingdom's contentious illegal migration bill? We'll be discussing this and more in today's episode. First, China's President Xi Jinping accused the US of holding back China's development this week. In an unusual statement that directly mentions the US and marks a deviation from Xi's usually positive public statements, he said on Monday that a US-led campaign of containment and suppression of China has brought unprecedented severe challenges. Further, he called on the Chinese people to dare to fight these challenges. Xi's remarks reflect the state of deteriorating US-China relations, which have been on a downward spiral since the trade wars, economic de- decoupling, the war over Ukraine, differences over Taiwan, and the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the Wall Street Journal, Xi said in his speech, Western countries led by the US have implemented all-round containment, encirclement, and suppression against us, bringing unprecedentedly severe challenges to our country's development. Experts assess that such remarks reflect that Xi will take a harder stance on the US as he steps into his third term as the president. Doubling up on the ante, Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang on Tuesday then accused the US of seeking conflict and confrontation with China. Further, the Foreign Minister appealed to Washington to change their distorted view towards China. As China's top brass criticized the US, Washington, on the other hand, released their annual threat assessment report by the intelligence community on Wednesday. The report stated that China's Communist Party would continue efforts to achieve President Xi Jinping's vision of making China the preeminent power in East Asia and a major power on the world stage. As Xi begins his third term as China's leader, the report added, the CCP will work to press Taiwan on unification, undercut US influence, drive wedges between Washington and its partners, and foster norms that favor its authoritarian system onto global governance systems. Moving closer to South Asia, the same intelligence report also states that if tensions between India and Pakistan escalate, India under Prime Minister Modi is more likely than in the past to respond with military force to perceived or real Pakistani provocations. Up next, the Home Secretary of the United Kingdom, Swera Braverman, introduced the illegal migration bill in the House of Commons Tuesday. This has been met with severe criticism from both members of the opposition Labour Party and Braverman's own Conservatives Party too. Essentially, the BBC explains that the bill denies most people arriving across the English Channel on small boats into the United Kingdom from France or another country the right to make an asylum claim, even if they too have a case, and places a duty on the Home Secretary to remove them as quickly as possible from the United Kingdom. The bill mandates that Border Force officers will have the power to detain almost everyone who crosses the English Channel for at least 28 days while the Home Secretary and her team book them onto flights out of the United Kingdom. This change is an enormous toughening up of the current rules and is just one of the reasons why critics say it breaks the United Kingdom's international obligations to treat potential refugees fairly. This bill is part of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's five key priorities for 2023 as the UK moves towards general elections in 2024. One of those five is to stop small boats from crossing the channel and therefore this bill has been introduced. While the Labour leader Kaya Starmer has described the bill as unworkable, there are high chances that the bill will pass through the House of Commons, as the Conservatives enjoy a majority there. However, 
things will get more tricky in the House of Lords. The House of Lords, according to reports, is likely to want to make amendments. These changes would then go back to the Commons for consideration and passing. At times, bills can go back and forth between the two houses multiple times before it's finally passed by both. Further, even if the bill is passed by both houses, experts expect the bill to face significant legal challenges after. The new law is expected to strain the UK's commitment to the European Convention on Human Rights and the UN's Refugee Convention. In defence of the bill, Braverman has said, we are confident that we are complying with the law domestic and international. But we are also pushing the boundaries and we are testing innovative and novel legal arguments, she has stated. According to a letter sent by Braverman's office to members of parliament, which the BBC has accessed, the secretary wrote, there is more than a 50% chance that the legislation was incompatible with the European Convention on Human Rights. That's all from this episode of World 360. Thanks for watching.